Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, we're gonna look Ace Movie's powerful animation presets and how to use keyframe to make animations. Ace Movie comes with a few animations and motions presets that you can add into your video footage, which is a great way to get started. Here I'll show you how to use animations presets. Let's click the animations tab in the left side. Here we can choose the animations and motions. Let's try out one of each. Let's choose an animation you like, and drag it to place on your video footage. When you can see the FX appear in the lower left corner, it means the animations is placed on the video successfully. We can play to check what the animation looks like. Next, let's go up to the motions tab. Drag the motions you like and placed on the video, and we can see there is a white line on the video. It means the position of the start keyframes. We can also to drag the two keyframes to change their position and duration. Let's click play to see what it looks like. In Ace Movie, you can change and animate different parameters using Ace Movie. Keyframes are values you can set to certain parameters like scale, position, rotation, and more at different points on your timeline. If you set a keyframe value earlier in the timeline, and then a different keyframe value later in the timeline, your parameters will change from one value to the other over that time. For example, let's make an animation of a square moving from left to right. We can create a square in Ace Movie by going to the Elements tab, and clicking Background, add a background you like to the timeline, and change its scale to square. In the transform panel, we can adjust the opacity, rotation, scale and position of this object. There are two values for position, one controls the position on the x-axis while the other one controls the position on the y-axis. First let's move our square to the left by bringing down the x value. If we want to move from left to right, we need to create our first keyframe and work with the tools up here. Let's click the keyframe button, and now you can see a diamond on the position track. Next let's move forward a few seconds, we can click the keyframe button to create a new keyframe. Then we can see the animation section on the right side. Let's set our X position value to the right, or you can drag the square to the right. Now when we play the footage, we'll see the square travel from left to right between those two keyframes. We can create as many keyframes as we'd like on the timeline. Let's add one here and change the position. If you want to adjust the duration between those keyframes, you can drag those keyframes to where you want, or if you don't like the keyframe, just click it and delete it. That's it about animations. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials to learn how to take your video with Ace Movie. See you next time.